Engineers at Bagnell Dam plan to keep the gates open as long as possible to prevent the waters of Lake of the Ozarks from rising. With more rain predicted to come, Ameren engineers aren't taking any chances. We have about 10,000 cubic feet per second uh, behind us coming through our spillway. We have about 37,000 cubic feet per second uh, going through our turbines for a total discharge down the river of 47,000 cubic feet per second. Heavy rains this week filled up the lake and are the reason why Ameren workers were called into work early to prevent a catastrophic flood. We have received uh, significant rainfall over the past week and uh, we received seven inches of rainfall in a five hour period. Uh, made the lake level really start to rise and we're simply spilling the excess water. Seeing the floodgates open is an uncommon sight. They were last open in 2011 for about a day. This time could be longer and Wednesday lots of people showed up to take pictures. On this side of the wall lays a once in a while treat for sightseers, but who knows what's in store for the property owners on the other side of that wall. I mean, nothing you could really do other than pile a bunch of sandbags up, which isn't worth it. So we've just, uh, we've lifted some of the conduits that have the wires that go under the dock up higher so that there's more room. Parts of the lake are in bad shape right now. In the Grand Glaze Arm, you can see all kinds of debris floating around in the lake, down trees, floating hay bales, and slicks of unknown material. The outcome for homeowners depends on the weather and the dam's engineers. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Lake of the Ozarks.